consumer products are marketed through art and graphic design and and in such a way that it looks like an art gallery I mean picture an Apple store for instance you know they they exhibit each tablet on an individual plinth it's very much taken from from art exhibiting you know and uh, I think it becomes more and more important over time to help people distinguish between what is high art and what is popular culture. The board members are myself as the founder of the club, um, Salima Khatibi and Diana Poole. All three of us are graduates of the MBA program at St. Gallen in different years. All three of us have uh, contact with art on a daily basis and we try to leverage our existing networks in the art community to make experiences available to the members of the club. We organize about four to five events every year. Uh, some of them are studio visits, for instance, or art fair visits, where, where the, the board of the club gives a guided tour throughout an art fair, like Art Basel, for instance. And some of the other experiences are much more privileged, where we open a door that might not necessarily um, be open to the public, um, or people might not even be aware of its existence. So we try also to shed light on some of the actors behind the scenes in the art industry, like the shippers, the restorers. Our launch event was really spectacular because um, we went to a a well-known private collector's house and were given a tour of the collection and to see how someone lives with the art that they've collected over 20 years is a real inspiration and even if you can't afford multi-million dollar artworks you can still surround yourself with art. I think to be taken seriously in the art industry you also want to help finance and promote younger galleries and young artists and this is something that was very much on our mind when we decided to start the art club. Every member of the club uh, pays an annual membership fee of 250 francs and that money is pooled and every year the board proposes four or five works for an acquisition. The way we propose the works is quite thorough so each artwork is described in detail and we also explain why we think it's a good opportunity to buy this artwork and the third component is the financial aspect how much does it cost how much would the club be paying for it what additional costs are linked to it like VAT like insurance etc so we're completely transparent about that and then the members vote in a relatively simple email process and the majority of votes then wins. The art club allows people who have never bought an artwork before to simulate that entire process from beginning to end. I think people who do an MBA, who attend business school, they care very much about being well-rounded individuals. And I think to these kinds of people like myself, a cultural education is also very important. Based on that, I get the feeling that a lot of people just out of a curiosity would like to join the club and then by being member of a club a real interest is sparked in art.